this is where things get well cultured, all right? Is what we're doing. We're going to have a little bit of music in a bit. But before that, we need a bit of hush now because we're going to have some spoken words. Steve, I met Steve at the um, Spoken Word Open Mic in Ipswich about a year ago, and he's absolutely fantastic. He's also lent us. No, it's not one. He's also lent us all these lights, all these decorations. He's a lovely man, so please welcome Just Some Guy! Cider. Carl Insider. That's how we roll. Uh, listen, I've been telling these stories for a little while now. I think since uh, before then and now, still trying to find out what they mean. See, they started somewhere in a lost boy, somewhere in a misguided daydream, somewhere when an accident collided with a mystery man. There was words everywhere. Raining down on the rooftop, some for holding on to, some for hanging up on the coat hooks for the rainiest of rainy days. None of them held the answers. Just unfolding more questions like relentless waves, desperate to reach mountains, but constantly pushed backwards and breaking. I held on so tightly to some of those words like they were gold dust. Some of those words, they were gold dust. Words like tomorrow and maybe. Words like faith and hopefully. I built a tree house out of those words, a fortress. Made it from keep out signs and monster noises. It kept the world out. I grew up in that house. Parted company with company. Left on the worst of all terms, I learned life is lonely and lonely, she welcomed me in with both arms and a half smile and a promise of safety. But neither of which did she ever bring forth to see. See, she promised me rescue in a world so wrapped up in danger, but behind the promises she took from me everything, all that I had. So I existed just in silence, miles away from anyone. Holding on tightly to every whisper that I heard And then and now I'd stand on corners holding handwritten posters Or talk to anyone about anything if they could tell me my name but they couldn't I picked apart the pockets of people hoping to pick apart the pieces of the puzzles of the people And all the lives that I saw but nothing led me to welcome Lonely she offered me a shoulder but it was cold and it was rancid and nothing led me to home And I thought that she had me Thought that somehow she'd won me into herself and away from this world till through the haze of a morning, flakes of light falling, I saw a man holding a poster with far more truth than mine held, there's still a chance to be good again. Is that right? What went wrong? This ain't a love song, just a warning. To old friends, please, don't leave it too long. Cheers, Frank. I feel like I should have some kind of instrument or pretend to play piano or something, but I'm just talking, so that's all I can really do. So I'm not particularly talented in that in any other way. So uh, uh, I'm just going to tell you a few stories, if that's all right. And this, this is like the perfect environment. I've been mean, telling stories from here to lots of other little places. And uh, we met a guy once in a, in a place uh, far, far, far away, uh, and he played the, played the clarinet for us, and it was the most amazing experience ever. And uh, gave out a shout to, like everyone that was about, to friends and neighbours, just like this, family in the south. He says, it's been a little while since we all sat together, traded music and stories and laughed together. The old man stands here in the room in the middle, frayed string for a belt tied round his middle. He's got old school, rugged, working hands. Shook hands with a few good and a few bad man, yet here he stands and holds up his hands and prepares to play a riff. It's the music man. He says, it's been a little while since we all sat down, since our walked the streets of this village around and since then I sat on a fair few seats and these old ears picked up a fair few beats. See I sat on the back of a flat back truck across 18 borders and never got stuck to Provnik, Prague, Amsterdam City, the seven hills came rolling down. I went to the Vatican City man they kicked me out because the sound of my trumpet was well too loud. Blue tunes at the Royal Old Opera House. You know that rolled out the back but they all catch cabs. Language was hard, we didn't know what to say so I just let the sound of my trumpet play. I would stand on a corner Trumpet in hands, play a groove so deep it would knock you down. Most people just kept on walking, walking and talking, talking and talking about businesses or business meetings or business seating at business evenings and they're just too busy to get to their next big meeting and on occasion someone would stop and not a lot, not many, but someone would stop and the language was hard, I didn't know what to say so just let the sound of my trumpet play. I spoke of peace. And the rhythm of freedom. His business suit told me of a freedom long gone. His wallet said I carefully calculate and his briefcase said I'll do whatever it takes and I just kept on playing the sound, played a groove so deep that it knocked him down. 
Then all of a sudden we're back to that same old room, six by nine, doorstep, covered in shoes. They all stare at the music man, their eyes glued. But this time, he didn't come there on his own. He looks over right there to the left. Sees his friend, the businessman he met in the West, this time not wearing his business best, frayed jeans with a shirt open over a vest, and that frame that held up a world of stress now holds up the frame of a man that's blessed. And out of a bag on the floor, he picks up an 18-year-old clarinet, and the pair prepare for the world's greatest ever duet. Their eyes meet for a second, how could they forget that corner on which they first met? The businessman's eyes fill with a heartfelt tear, because things, well, they ain't the same round here. People smile when the sun goes down round here, and even though they've got nothing, people share it round here. And the room's about to erupt with anticipation and tears. And the businessman says, "Okay." And if yeah, like back to me. So I just say one more. Uh, this is a story about a friend of mine. Uh, set in a, a different kind of time so it was a little while ago when um, when the world was still young on the brightest night of the summer would allow see the sea injected life into the ever steady shore and what's that was more on that shore there was beauty that was born she had fire red hair and eyes that saw truth and a heart in her hands way too big for her chest and she held it tightly stood firm on the sand held it high for all those looking to find and people would come man from far away places, to inquire if they were the ones wholesome and brave, but no words would she speak, no motion to give insight, but her heart would catch sight of the truest that there were, but cold nights brought the darkness, and the men came to see her. Men with no intention of asking her questions of heart, they come to take from her. Tell her that they loved her, then strip her bare under the moon, and then batter that heart, she was tangled in tightness. Well scared of spiders, feeling like the world had taken from her, all that she knew, so she set sail from the shore on her own little island open to her last to be away from it all and then watched them excited as the world sunk behind her knowing that she couldn't be her again but then in a flash from behind her there was a boatload of pirates took every last piece of the things that she had saved up to be she returned to the shore hard faced as the wind she had changed not to return in that same way again and on shore she raised the door to run from affection not to believe that love could exist in this world and at night she took flight in the arms of false affection hoping just to be held safe once again she never laughed out loud but often cried out in public in regret of things she knew she would do but hadn't done yet yet still every summer after a break in the clouds, a boat will come from somewhere beyond the wreckage of lands. Its crew were a mixture. Hard as the ocean, but fought not for wars of kings and countries. They stood for the last drops of hope in the ocean and collected the things that they found out to sea. They, their cargo was a mixture, barrelfuls of laughter, crates full of hope, and the things that they had found out to sea. They brought them to harbour, sold songs, traded emotions, but never did well in this place by the sea till one day in September. Unloading their bounty of beauty, she scoured it for something to fill that hole in her chest, and then she stood in silence. So on the corner of a small table, something she recognised, and maybe one day was hers, it was different. Tied up in bolt string, wrapped in a small sail, it changed, but somehow she knew it was hers. The young sailor who held it, could see that she lost it, so right there and then he gifted it back and sold true the young sailor, pledged he would help her to restore all the damage that the years had brought on, and now every summer. When the clouds break and the winds turn and the sun shimmers softly on the brink of the dawn, our beauty she sings. For the corners and four oceans to tell the whole world that she isn't broken anymore.